locations. Now back to the guys live from Barrio Queen on Fox Sports 910 and the iHeartRadio app. Taking you inside the Cards locker room and down to the field with the Big Red Report. Each week, Arizona Republic's AZ Central Sports, Bob McManaman, joins Rock and Manooch to analyze the cards and the rest of the NFL. Follow Bob on Twitter at ACBobbyMac. Now, here's Bobby Mack on Fox Sports 910. You know, he's a mobile guy that understands the system, but he's a mobile guy that can make throws and play in the pocket and play outside of the pocket, so that's what we're looking for. <laughs> you got to love some of these comments that we're getting now. Uh, Bobby Mack is our guest as we come to you from the Barrio Queen in Glendale on Bell Road. And that's Josh, basically that's Coach Gannon talking Gannon, about yes. Joshua Dobbs yesterday in reference to you know his his potential yes. quarterback. And Bob, it just seems as though there was a lot of accolades there for one Joshua Dobbs versus his rookie quarterback in Clayton Toon. Was that was that a big hint as to who may be starting here in the next twelve days against Washington? Uh, if it wasn't, it ought to be, because yeah. that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I, having asked a lot of those questions yesterday, I, I don't know how you can't look at it. I mean, uh, they've given to it every chance, uh, as far as you can for a fifth round rookie, you know, when we all assumed it was going to be Colt McCoy, but, uh, they brought in this guy for a reason and, and they wanted to bring Dobbs in early in the off season. So. Uh, now that he's here, I think that's what you're going to see. It's unprecedented, as I wrote yesterday for today. Um, I don't think they're done, but I, they better be done with quarterbacks for now. But they, they also just released David Blau and Jeff Driscoll. One of them will be back, mm -hmm. I would assume, and I'm almost certain. Just like they'll bring back long snapper Aaron Brewer, which they did the same thing a year ago in a procedural move. We're down to 52 right now. He'll come back in a few days, and and that situation will resolve. But, yeah, a lot of intrigue and interest going around this team all over the place. And you can go to at AZ Bobby Mack and find out more. But we've been tracking you all afternoon long, Bob, with some of the some of the notables. And now the 53-man roster is set at least for now. <laughs> Do you see um, yeah. some, some other moves, trades, cuts uh, over the next four or five days? Because – if nothing's set in place by, oh, by Sunday, you got to go with the hand you're dealt up, and you only got six days to get ready for that Commanders game. That's right, and that's how long uh, John Gannett has the name as starting quarterback until Murray's back. Plus, you know they're going to have to address some other needs, uh, and they will because what's on their their roster now won't be what they open the season with. They're going to churn the back end. They're going to add guys who have been released and or waived. Uh, some veterans will come in and, uh, and some rookies will come in. That practice squad will begin to develop tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of roster churning going on during the next two weeks. Bob McManaman is our guest, AZ Central, Arizona Republic. Uh, you can always follow Bobby on Twitter or X at AZ Bobby Mac. That's AZ Bobby Mac. All right. Aside from the Colt McCoy scenario, did anything surprise you? Were you like, oh, I didn't expect that coming? Um, yeah. Corey Clement, the running back, who I thought was going to be the number two running back, now is gone. And he's a free agent as of right now. So I don't know if they're bringing him back, but I. I mean, they've got three running backs in the room, and I don't think that's enough. And one of them is an undrafted rookie free agent who I really like, Imar, Imari Di Mercado. But I don't think you go to battle with John uh, James Conner and Keontae Ingram and an undrafted rookie. I think they're going to add a veteran. I'll be shocked if they don't. That was surprising. Rashad Lawrence was a fourth-round pick a few years ago. I, that's a little bit of a surprise, but the writing was on the wall there. Um, you know, David Blau, I guess that's a surprise. Um, you know, the Brewer thing, like I said, will sort itself out. I'm, I'm sure he'll be back uh, in, a, in a matter of hours, if not a few days. So um, that's about it, you know, but that, there's a lot. I think what also surprised me today was being on a conference call with, 
CBS sports analysts and them telling me when I asked, you know, if, if you're the Cardinals, would you consider if you get the number one pick draft and Caleb Williams and moving on from Kyler Murray and all of them basically said, yes, uh, it's not just a, a temptation here, guys. It's looking like the Cardinals are going to finish with the worst record or the second worst. The Houston Texans are going to be right there with them. They have both of those, those picks theirs and Houston's. And I'm telling you, we're talking about a generational quarterback who's been compared to Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. I don't know how you not think about doing that, no matter how Kyler does. But I don't know when he's coming back. Gannon has told me with, un- well, I don't know if it's unbiased, but that he believes in Murray now more than he ever has. But they said the same thing about Josh Rose and then moved on from him and plucked Murray, number one. So, don't think it can't happen. It's happened here. It'll happen again. It happens a lot. And you got to eat some money. And you can trade this guy. He'll, there'll be market if he comes back and plays well. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff cooking with the Cardinals. And it's going to go on all bloody year. Bob McManaman is our guest on the right Toyota guest line. Okay, let me follow up with that. Do you see Gannon and Austin Fort clearing out players that were from the Kime Kingsbury regime that they just felt, okay, we don't want any of these guys around at all. But you can't throw the baby out. Yeah, I mean, I get that. I get that. You can't throw everybody out. I know. Yeah, oh, definitely. But they're keeping a core group of guys that they think they can win with. Uh, How many games? I don't know how many they think they're going to win. But, yeah, they're keeping some, but they're moving on from a lot. I mean, there's nobody left from the 2018 draft, one from 2019, one from 2020. That was just a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they're definitely moving on. And, and you know, uh, under time in Kingsbury, they moved on from some of their own players, too. Um, but, look, they've moved on a lot in recent, years, in recent days. Isaiah Simmons, Josh Jones, go down the list, Colt McCoy. You know, it, it, a new regime means new faces, mm-hmm. and it's going to get newer and younger and harder to win. And this rebuild is going to last uh, more than a year. It's going to last two to three years. Bob, thank you so much. I know that it's kind of been a boring day for you. But, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, really boring. <laughs> I'm coming up for air just now. I think I filed my fifth story today. It's between that and season preview stories, which I hope you all read on September third, our big season preview comes out. Oh, that's a, that'd be a very good birthday present for me, Bob, as I'll be a, all of forty-five years oh. old all over again on September third. Oh well, I, I turned the big six zero on September eleventh. Yeah, so he, happy birthday to you as well. Oh, he, thank you so much. He's like he's like forty years. He's he's busting on you, Bobby. <laughs> Trust me. I'm forty. Add, add forty years to that. I'm forty five and holding, yeah. Bob. I'm, I've been, I've been holy holding. An, smokes. I've been holding another thirty years on top of it. I'll be a big sixty six. <laughs> nah, you could probably 30. still play some quarterback, but it's brother. There you go. Would you please re, re, Would you please go ahead and relay that In message a flag over there? Football league. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Drinking El Bandito. Hey, All right, 